you just have to be determined. You have to really want it and enjoy it. If you're here and you don't enjoy it, it's not going to get more enjoyable over time because it gets more challenging. You just have to really love what you do. My name is Benjamin Kowalczyk and I work for the Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation at the Dorothy Gilmore Recreation Center. So I started working for the Parks and Recreation Department in 2017. I started at Cliffdale Recreation Center and that's where I learned the core of, of what I know how to do. I went from there to the Stony Point Recreation Center, one of the biggest centers in uh, the Parks Department here in Fayetteville. And from there, I got promoted into the position I'm in now, which is the supervisor of the Dorothy Gilmore Recreation Center. And it is the most challenging, but also the most rewarding position that I've held so far. So I run um, a lot of the day-to-day -day operations, but that's the boring stuff. A lot of the fun stuff I get to do is be with the participants, do some programming with them, just interact with them on a daily basis. And it really just brings joy to my day uh, to see that they're having fun and the things that I'm planning for them are things that they really enjoy doing. The most rewarding part of my job is easily just seeing participants who come in quiet and reserved and nervous come out of their shell and just be the, see their personality blossom. It's just a, an amazing reward to see that transformation. So the most challenging part of my job is definitely just trying to come up with activities that I feel like everybody, no matter their ability level, can participate in and do it in a way that is meaningful to them. Uh, it is, takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of research sometimes, but in the end I feel like we do get there. It is impossible to work here and not grow relationships with the participants uh, and the people that they come in with, the family members as well. It's just, it's such a strong bond that you, you grow over the years. You get to know them, see them every day, a lot of them. And it's just, it's like um, a friendship more than it is, uh, you know, participant, coach kind of thing. So I definitely think that in order to be in this position, you do have to be empathetic. You have to be able to communicate on a whole other level. Uh, a lot of our participants are nonverbal. And so being able to communicate just on social cues and physical cues, those kinds of things, it takes some practice and it really does take, like I said, a whole other level of communication to, to really perfect and, and know what they're trying to say. You just have to really love what you do.